Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Amir Karam, board certified facial plastic surgeon. I specialize in facial rejuvenation, which basically means I help people look as young as they feel. And today we're gonna to talk about a very popular and very interesting topic, and one that I think a lot of people want to really understand, because somehow the idea of taking a drug and losing weight sounds too good to be true. Well, that's the case with Ozempic. There has many benefits of Ozempic, but there are some untoward side effects that has created a coined term called Ozempic face, and we are going to discuss exactly what Ozempic is, what Ozempic face is, as well as how to treat Ozempic face. By the end of it, I'm gonna give you my my personal perspective on how you should be viewing this if you're interested in taking Ozempic for weight loss, how you should be viewing the drug and the potential side effects that come with it and putting it in context so that there's no surprises and there's no you know, question or, or wonder how you're gonna manage and deal with this and if you, you know, potentially are the right candidate for it as well. And, uh, and I think you'll, you'll find this video very, very interesting. I know this is a topic that many of you have asked me about, so I'm glad to put this into a video and, and uh, discuss it. So without further ado, let's break it down. What is Ozempic? So Ozempic is an FDA approved drug for diabetes. Now, as you all know, the mechanism of diabetes is blood sugars go high, the hormone insulin drives blood glucose back into the cell, so decreasing spikes in blood glucose. That's basically how you treat diabetes, right? You wanna reduce the free glucose in the bloodstream. That's a little physiology biochemistry lesson right there. Now, like many drugs, when you take them for one reason, you also find that they have some benefits in other areas. Like for example, Botox was used for spasm of the muscles around the eyes and it was found that, oh, it could help with headaches like migraines. It also helps with wrinkles around the eyes. So there are these kind of beneficial side effects that can be used in different ways. Now, what, what are those benefits? One of them is that the Ozempic drug, as much as it can control blood glucose, it also has a suppressing effect on appetite. The active ingredient of Ozempic is semaglutide, and that is a look-alike molecule to glucagon-like peptide one, right? So that particular natural occurring molecule has the ability to suppress appetite. That's very, very interesting, right? I mean, you take the drug for one reason, and then all of a sudden you're not craving and wanting to eat as much, guess what happens? You start to lose weight naturally, right? Well, that in combination with the elevation in the metabolic rate that happens also with this drug has been something that a lot of people who aren't necessarily morbidly obese or have a lot of weight loss, but just has two, three, five, ten 10 pounds of stubborn, stubborn fat that they want to get off their body, have been using this drug for that purpose. Now, Sounds wonderful. Instead of spending, you know, all those extra hours in the gym and, you know, fighting off the cravings and all that other stuff, you take a drug, decreases your appetite, and boom, you feel fine. And then next thing you know, you're losing some weight. Now that led to the realization of another side effect that affects our appearance. And that was called Ozempic face. Now, what is Ozempic face? So basically, there was a correlation for people who are using Ozempic you know, for whatever purposes, whether they were using for severe weight loss or just a few pounds, et cetera, that their faces started looking older. So there's this association between Ozempic and rapid aging. So that term was called Ozempic face. Now you can understand why that would be alarming, right? You're like, oh, I just wanna lose a little bit of my love handles or a little bit of fat along my legs or my stomach. And the next thing you know, a few weeks later, a month later, all of a sudden you look like you've aged five or 10 years. That's not exactly what you signed up for. So understanding what Ozempic face is, is really important. Now, I've had tons of videos on the topic of how the face ages, right? So it comes down to skin aging, comes down to volume loss, and it comes down to sagging. Now, you can think of the face almost like a balloon. If it's filled up, you know, let's say you have an extra 20, 30 pounds of weight on you, there's gonna be some weight in the face that's gonna 
put, you know, basically expand the, the fascia, right? So it expands it, makes the face look a little bit younger because it's not sagging as much. Because the thing that makes someone look older is the shape of the face, the sagging of the face, right? We talked about the upside down triangle or the rectangular elongation that happens as opposed to the upright triangle or the heart-shaped face of youth. So what happens is you've got this volume in there because you're a little overweight. And then next thing you know, you drop 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds, maybe a little bit more. All of a sudden, all that fat is gone. Now, suddenly the face deflates and that deflation causes that entire soft tissue envelope that is nice and full to basically come crashing down. And then all of a sudden you start to see the sagging. You see gauntness under the eyes. You see the mid face starting to drop. You see the jawline starting to come down. Now all of a sudden you actually do look fundamentally older, but that is partially because that weight that was in the face was extra weight that wasn't you know, ideally supposed to be there in the first place, basically uncovering some of the natural aging that would have taken place otherwise. In addition, this is the other piece to it, and I see this all the time in my practice. When somebody naturally, whatever, through exercise, et cetera, loses some weight, the facial weight, the facial fat is meant to diminish with age, right? Hand fat, face fat diminishes with age. So when you lose that weight, there's almost like an exaggerated effect on the face. There's more loss that happens in the face than there is anywhere else in the body. It's almost like that weight goes away first. And when that happens, yeah, those people always look a little bit older looking as a result of it. But they would have looked older anyway, is my point, because gradual weight loss or sudden weight loss at the end of the day is going to reveal what is fundamentally going to be your facial structure at that particular age and time. So as you can imagine, there's probably, you know, I mean, you're talking about postmenopausal weight that, you know, we, you know, women put on like another 10 pounds sometimes and they talk about that being a difficult time. The metabolic rate slows down. That's also the exact time when the face is aging as well. So you can see how that, those two, you know, sort of worlds collide. And then next thing you know, exactly what you see is you lose the weight and all of a sudden the face looks older, revealing the true weight. So really important point to keep in mind is that Ozempic is not necessarily aging the face, but it's revealing the true age of the face. So now let's back it up for a second. What is the treatment in these situations? What is the appropriate treatment? So number one, weight loss is an ideal situation that has to happen, having the right lifestyle, being healthy, et cetera. So we all know it has effects on diabetes, has effects on uh, cholesterol, has effects on you know, heart, blood pressure, et cetera. So the weight loss and the, the getting down to our ideal body weight is priority number one. But when the face starts to show signs of aging, you just go back to the fundamental ways that you would treat the aging face. So if you have mild loss of volume, you're gonna use things like fillers or fat transfer, et cetera, to fill in around the eyes, the temples, et cetera, areas that have lost some volume. But if you're older, let's say you're in your late 40s, early 50s, and you lose that weight and all of a sudden the face is sagging and you see jowling and neck laxity, et cetera, that point in time, you don't wanna just rely on volume to reinflate the face because you're gonna look puffy and weird and all the stuff that we see and I've had videos of, of these pillow faces and all the other you know, sort of things. That's not gonna be the treatment. The treatment is gonna be surgical. So when you're at the appropriate age, again, the average age is gonna be late 40s, early 50s and beyond, and you see laxity, your fundamental treatment is gonna go back to your facelifts, vertical restore, et cetera. Depending on who you go to, you're gonna term it, it's gonna be something different, but basically physically lifting the fascia back up and tightening the face. So that is the way you have to envision all of this happening together and recognize that Ozempic is not causing a side effect and causing aging, but it's more or less just revealing age in an ideal body weight situation. And ultimately the treatments that you would use will fundamentally be the same treatments you would use anyway if you lived at that weight for a long time. But it is definitely jarring and alarming to suddenly see that facial fat disappear suddenly and then all of a sudden you look a lot older. That is, you know, that's a tough adjustment to make immediately. But know that that is the reason. So here's my, my take on this. Generally speaking, not a fan of using drugs or this and that for, because at the end of the day, 
you don't want to stay on this forever anyway. So yeah, you suppress your appetite, etc. Then what happens when you get off of it, you're going to go back to, to square one. But the note is that you're not going to gain it back in your face because usually when you lose it once in your face, it doesn't come back even if you gain weight again. That's a, that's a very sort of interesting observation that we've, we've seen. Now, lifestyle, all the things, you know, regular exercise, trying to trim the, the amount of calories that go in, you know, the basic thermodynamic stuff that, that affects metabolic rate, increasing body uh, mass with protein and, and, uh, and muscle and all that stuff is really, really important. That to me is, is priority number one, get your health right. And then deal with the aging issues the way you would normally want to deal with them. So uh, for that, there's obviously tons of information on this particular channel and you can uh, visit our Instagram, et cetera, to see how changes in facial shape and all that kind of stuff can be treated surgically and non-surgically in certain situations. So health number one, um, Ozempic I don't think is the long-term answer. I don't think anyone wants to be on these drugs for the long run for weight management, but they can be a tool to help you drop a few pounds as long as you get the lifestyle to back it and support it. All right, guys, that's the story behind Ozempic, Ozempic Face, and the treatments associated with it. I hope you found this interesting. Let's spread the word. Let's get the word out so people understand kind of this in context. Send it to friends and family. And uh, if you enjoyed this, hit like. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm more than happy to try to answer as many of them as I possibly can. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe on the channel so you get more information about topics related to facial rejuvenation and skin care and skin rejuvenation. All right, folks, thanks again. Dr. Amir Karam.